Hey there guys, this is TC Made with TC Gaming. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about a project that I'm working on, which is actually using a development kit um, that you can get on the marketplace. It's from a gentleman who goes by the name of Msod Brushbeard on YouTube. This is his channel, Msod Brushbeard, and it's called the Platformer Development Kit. And I know he's actually working on a second version of this now. If you go to his channel, he actually has a preview on here for the uh, part two version of this, volume two. So uh, what I was doing is I was working on this project and I was looking for additional assets to add into it. It's a great package right out of the box, by the way. I'll just show you a little bit of the playthrough here, but you get this little rabbit character and interactive coins and animations and everything. He can jump over here unlock the uh, bridge, you know, etc. So it's got a lot of stuff going on for it right out of the box. And then you can basically add additional worlds and levels to it. Well, one of the things that I wanted to do is to have additional uh, platform island type things like these little ones that you see out here. And so in order to get those, I was shopping around on the internet trying to find different places to buy resources to do additional building with. And I ran across a kit that was actually listed in I think it was a Matthew Pelage I think is how you pronounce his name I think it was in his tutorial and he had a uh, pack on there from a gentleman by the name of Tim Van Hell's Dingen Tim Van Hell's Dingen and he has a website called Tim Van Hell's Dingen.com and he has this package called Four Seasons which I've imported into this environment for the game creation for the platform developer kit and if you go into his maps, he has, uh, you know, like a little demo level in here. And it's just some really nice looking stuff. But what I ran into was a little bit of trouble with the collisions on this. So if I show you here real quick, when I was running through and, you know, playing this little character, I hit this wall, this like little invisible wall. And I thought, well, okay, it must be something to do with the collision mesh. Well, sure enough. Here's how you figure out how to go through all that process of fixing it. If you go into the uh, floating rock or whatever thing has your collision problem and you go to browse to asset, that will actually pull it up in your browser here. So in this case, it's summer floating rock version three. And I just zoom out a little bit and under the collision menu, I'm going to show my simple collision. And as you can see, this is a giant uh, box, basically. It has a little bit of shape to it, but it's a box around the mesh. And you could go through here and do all kinds of different things. Uh, so if I go to Collision, Remove Collision, I can go back in here and tell it to create one. And let's say Add 26 DOP Simplified Collision. So that's a little bit uh, maybe tighter to the, um, to the whole thing. Or if I didn't like that one, I could go into Collision, Remove Collision or Delete Collision. And then I can go back in and say auto convex collision. Now if I look here, that's going to create this complex collision version. So if I say save, that applies that to that summer floating rock asset that we were on. So let's go back and play again. And we'll see what that did. If I go back down here and try and run across here again. Well this time I can get up there, but look. It created the collision mesh, but it didn't apply it to the to the surface. And so if I go back in here again and look at uh, my collision, see it's not on there. Even if I said auto convex collision, and we can show that that's on there. Let's see, save it again. Maybe if I go right click on here, no, nah, nothing there. See if we can save it. And when I hit play, I'm going to go through and see if the collision mesh has been adjusted to fix that <clears throat> that problem. But when I go and jump up here on again, say I'm falling through. So the quick fix to this, which is actually a little processor intensive, and I wouldn't do this on something that has a lot of polygon count on it, but these are fairly simplistic assets. You can actually go into this uh, editor, go collision, make sure that you don't have anything applied. And under the details menu, if you scroll down to the collision menu and drop that down, you'll see a section in here that says collision complexity. And you can go and say use complex collision as simple. And I'm going to save that. Now if I go back out here and hit play again, what we should see is that we have created a collision around this mesh that actually works. 
and it also contours to the shape. So as you can see, I'm going downhill there. That this collision is 100% wrapped right around the surface of this model, and it makes it so that it works really, really well. Now, the reason I said this is a little processor intensive and I wouldn't want to do this on something that had a bunch of polygons on it is because if you look up what this actually does, you can see here when you use complex collision as simple, there's a cost to that method. It's fine for simple meshes, but this guy says I would not recommend it because what it does is it renders your model two times. Once for the static mesh, and the second time is rendering your complete model for its surface to be used as the collision. So basically what that means in layman's terms to me is that it's taking this asset and rendering it and then rendering it again as a collision object. So it's basically duplicating it as a collision mesh. That's why it, it's basically a perfect uh, replica. But I am going to go through um, all these different assets that have the collisions on there that I'm, I'm having trouble with and fix those. And then I think that this would be a wonderful asset pack to add into that MSOD Brushbeards um, platform development kit that's available on Unreal Engine. So I want to share that with you guys real quick. Hopefully that helps you if you're running any problems with collision meshes. A real easy way is to strip them out. Once again, you strip them out and then you go in here to your collision settings and just say use complex collision as simple. But again, uh, it may cost you a little bit on the resource uh, processor side because of these meshes, um, if they're real complex or whatever. All right, hopefully that helps you guys out, and I'll see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching. And again, I'm not a professional educator, or um, I don't work for Unreal Engine. I'm not monetized through anybody here that I'm telling you about for these uh, game packs. So uh, again, have fun, and if you need anything... Uh, let me know and I'll try and help you out the best I can. Thanks for watching.